Minecraft Championships returns on the 29th of May with Season 2, and to celebrate I want to look back at the best players that have ever graced the tournament. Looking at the skills they have, what games they are best at, and of course what makes them stand out when compared to the rest. And to make it clear this is based on official MCC stats and scores, so don't get upset if your favourite isn't on this list. But with that being said, let's find out who's the best Minecraft Championship player of all time. But before we get started, let me know in the comments section below your favourite player in MCC. And whilst you're down there, please like and subscribe, because it would mean the world to me. Now let's get on as we start off with the 10th best player. Number 10. Filza. Of course, the man, the myth, the legend is included on this list. With his extensive knowledge of Minecraft, he constantly appears in the top 10 with some very good performances in the last few MCCs. His ability to perform well in several of the key games constantly shows that despite his age he can still fight the best. His best games obviously include Rocket Spleef with his love of the Elytras as well as Battle Blocks which he surprisingly manages to often come on top of despite other contestants specialising in PvP. As well as this he's a good tactician and teammate often being able to lead a team to victories, such as in MCC 12, his second time winning the tournament. Overall, he's an amazing player and definitely someone you should watch out for in Season 2. I'd also like to make an honorary mention for Tapple in 11th position, which is amazing considering that he's not been in as many tournaments as others on this list, and he's only 10 points below Filza, who he won MCC 12 with. Anyway, with that being said, let's head on to number 9. Number 9, HBOM94. H is not only an incredible Minecraft player, but also an incredible teammate, with his ability to coach a team from the sidelines to victory. He's constantly looking at ways to improve himself and his team, and despite not having the raw skill of others on this list, it's his determination that makes him such a fantastic player. I dare put out there that he has the best coaching skills out of anyone on this list, which has landed in multiple victories, being tied with Pizza Hut for the most victories overall in MCC. Which of course includes the famous MCC9, which he won with Fruit Berries, Full Symmetry and Ren the Dog. And because of the very famous Hunger Game round that happened within this tournament, that's what I'm going to have to give him as his best game, with him also being extremely strong at Ace Race. But again, I must say it's his ability to lead a team that truly makes him stand out to me. Number 8. Kurtzy, or Kratzy, or Kratzy. Dave, I'll just say Dave. One of the most underrated players in MCC, Dave shows great skills in many of the MCC game modes, particularly PvP based games. His competitiveness constantly pushes him to win, being incredibly unlucky to only have one victory in MCC 1. His best games include Sky Battle and Sky Buckle, as well as Battle Box. But it's hard to talk about just how good Dave is without talking about number 7, Sapnap. It's often overlooked how good Sapnap is at Minecraft, because it's often in comparison to Dream himself. But when it comes to MCC, Sapnap begins to shine, constantly coming within the top 10 in tournaments. He's also gained a great partnership with Dave having both performed very well with each other in several MCCs, and being extremely unlucky to have not won a tournament together. And in terms of best games, I'm going to have to say the same as Dave's, with Sapnap excelling at Battlebox and Skybuckle, as well as being quite skilled at the parkour related games. And even while 7th is extremely good, I could see Sapnap placing even high in the future. Number 6, Vicstar. We hit the 3000 point average with Vicstar, in at number 6 despite not taking part since MCC 5. The only member of the Sidemen to have ever taken part in MCC, unless you ask Tommy, he shows great team working ability and works well with someone else on this list. Now it's legit hard to say what Vic's game is because there's so many, but so not to be boring I'm going to have to say Bingo because he said that himself, as well as Battlebox. Although as I say he's done well in almost every single game. 
It's also worth noting that Vic has come in the top 5 personally and the top 3 team wise in every single tournament he has taken part in. Number 5. Dream. Potentially Minecraft's most famous player, Dream has performed extremely well within MCC and could potentially be within the top 3 if it weren't for 1 or 2 bad tournaments. But with that being said, his incredible PvP skills and amazing movement has made him truly one of the best players in MCC, having won two tournaments and constantly ranking in the top 10 in individual scores. His best game has to be Parkour Warrior, with him also being particularly skilled in Sky Battle and Sky Blockle. The skills he has picked up from Manhunt have certainly managed to translate into MCC, and I'm sure we'll see him picking up a few more victories in Season 2. Number 4. Quig. The youngest on this list, who will only just turn 18 when Season 2 begins. Quig is an extremely skilled Minecraft player, who has won two MCCs in his time, whilst also having taken part in every single tournament. He is extremely skilled at PvP, with one of his best games being Survival Games and Sky Battle. At this point it is worth saying that all the remaining players are extremely skilled at every single game mode. Along with being 4th on this list, Quig has won the most individual first places, and the only reason he isn't high on this list is due to one or two bad performances, similar to Dream. But don't let this take away from how incredible Quig is. Number 3. Fruitberries We have finally reached the top 3 players, and to start with we have Fruitberries, who is astonishingly only taking part in 6 MCCs. This includes having victories in his first tournament, MCC 6, as well as the famous MCC 9. He's also came first in individuals twice with his extremely good PvP skills, as well as his great team working ability. His best game has to be survival games, after the incredible score he amassed in MCC 9. Fruitberries has shown that experience isn't necessary when you have buckets of skill and talent. Number 2. Technoblade Of course the blade himself has made it onto this list. Despite not taking part in the last two MCCs, and it already being confirmed that he won't be in the first one of Season 2, it's been Technoblades consistently that he's placed him second place overall, having finished in the top 10 in every single tournament he's taken part in. His PvP skills as well as his determination have taken him to the top on multiple occasions with him winning two MCCs before, but as well as this it's his incredible forward planning and research that has allowed him to pull off incredible feats such as memorising the builds in build battle or his record ace race run. His best game however has to be sky battle or sky blockle, with his experience of bed wars and sky wars helping him massively, but it's his determination to win that truly makes him one of the best players in MCC and I can't wait to see Technoblade return in the future. And that leads us to Number 1, and of course, it's Pizza Hut. No one compares to Pete in MCC. Pete has over 100 average points more than Technoblade, and 200 points on anyone else. As well as this, he's never finished outside the top 10 in the 12 tournaments he's taken part of, only missing one tournament due to power problems. Otherwise, that very may well be every tournament. He's reached 8 dodgeballs in the total of 12 that he could, and has won the tournament three times. He's come first place individually four times and has tons more achievements such as being the first person to finish Parkour Warrior, the first person to complete Ace Race in under three minutes, and in MCC 7 he was the second player to get over 4,000 points individually in MCC, with his team also getting the highest score in MCC history. I could go on and on about Pete's achievements, but simply said, he is the greatest MCC player ever. And that's it, I'm excited to see how this list evolves going into season 2, but for now please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. This is my first video out of hopefully many for MCC, so your support would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, have a great rest of your day, and peace.